And welcome back to the show, folks. I'm actually working on getting some breaking news for you here, if we could. So just give me one second. Um, it's something that you are going to want to hear, if we can make it work. We have one segment left of the show, and I was just informed of a of a potentially alarming event that took place, and I want to get more information uh, in that vein. If we get this person that we want to get on the show here in a minute or so, we will have have the opportunity to get further information. I'm going to preface this by saying I'm not totally abreast of all the details. I'm going to learn about it just like you are at the same time. Um, from what I've been told, somebody was taken into custody, and they were taken into custody, obviously, against their will um, by federal agents, including the FBI. Uh, the reason was not given. No evidence of the... Um, capture of said individual has been recorded it's all and i i gotta tell you you know this isn't this isn't normally our our thing we don't normally cover what would be considered uh, outside topics but she's she's going to join us now because i'm i'm i gotta tell you if if you read the quick report that i read you would get goosebumps so kathleen thomas welcome to the show kathleen how are you doing hey i'm doing fine thank you appreciate the opportunity to share uh what's going on in our country today thank you well, no problem. Tell us, please, what, what is going on? Because like I told the listeners, I don't even have all the details. So, so quickly kind of give us a rundown of, of what you're here to tell us. Sure, sure. Well, um, last night, I guess at approximately 7 o'clock, I was not at the property. I own two properties, and this is a rental property. My son does live there. And um, he was there. Everyone had left that also resides on that property. And the FBI, Secret Service, Chesterfield County Police Department showed up um, in a swarm on the property. They knocked on the door, and um, I do now know this side of the story because I have good news. Just spoke with my son about 20 minutes ago, so I have more okay. details. Yes. So what happened was um, they questioned him on his Facebook posts. He's been putting posts about what he sees going on in the country. He's a former Marine, decorated Marine. He served in Iraq and Afghanistan. Came back about a year ago. Um, he does not have PSTD. He's not suffering from anything like that. He's very sane, very sound-minded. I speak to him quite often. I have another son. We're just strong patriots, and we believe in our country. Uh, we believe in our freedoms. We believe in our constitutional rights, and we're vocal about it. And we've done liberty marches, and um, we just stand for freedom. We're not violent, um, but we are very serious about what we believe. And um, he is a patriot. And he was questioned about why he was talking about the government the way that he was, and he proceeded to. Well, give us some examples of that. Hold on. Yeah. What what what, what yeah. did he say about the government? Uh, he's basically said that they're lying. Um, that I can actually go to his Facebook post if you give me one second, I'll sure. go on there and do that, um, and I'll read some of them. I don't think but basically, been while while you're looking that up, it, it, yeah. it's it's basically discontent with the current uh, way the government is operating, and he was vocal in his expression that he's upset with the government, which is completely a patriotic thing to do. Matter of fact, it is the patriotic thing to do by our founding fathers' definition. So he was being true to the founding fathers' call, and the FBI, Secret Service, somebody up the chain had a problem with it. And you talked to your son. He was taken into custody last night. Where is he today? What what state is he in? Has he been abused in any way? What's going on currently? Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, here's what happened. Uh, let me just continue, and then I'll get those Facebook posts for you. Give me one second. Uh, sure. But what happened was, sure, he um, was told, you know, a question about why he was making those comments, and he was very calm. He was not violent. Uh, he said, and I was not there, so I'm going by what Brandon told me. But uh, he basically said, well, you know, I have some disagreements with, with the country and the government and the way that it's being run and things that are going on, and proceeded to share some of those things with them. And they said, well, you need to come with us. And um, he did not resist their arrest. So the, the problem here okay. is I've been told many, many lies, okay? Here's the problem. The problem is, um, well, let me tell you the story that went down, and I'll tell you what they told me. But he um, was handcuffed, was not read his rights. I want that to be heard very clear. He was not read his rights. He was handcuffed, put in the back seat of a Chesterfield County, Virginia Police Department vehicle, and um, taken to, now I know, taken directly to John Randolph Hospital, 
psychiatric hospital in Hopewell, Virginia, and that is where Whoa, he is right okay. now. Now, what I was told um, by an FBI agent, her name is Sergeant, excuse me, Agent Sherry Granger. She called me on the phone and she said, I'm with the FBI and uh, we have taken your son. And he has been arrested by the Chesterfield County Police Department because he assaulted and resisted arrest. He assaulted an officer and resisted arrest. This is what she told me. And he's been arrested and taken to the uh, Chesterfield County Police Department. I said, okay, um, you know, is that where he's at now? And she said, yes. And I said, okay, well, I'm going to, you know, call over there, head over there. She began to ask me questions if um, he was, you know, having any issues relating with people as far as, you know, being violent or things of that nature. I said, no, he's fine. I said, he has strong beliefs in his country. He's a patriot. There's things that he does not agree with that's, that's going on in our government, and he was very vocal about it. I said, I know he's posted on Facebook. I've seen those posts, and you know, he truly wants to see some changes in our country. And I said, now, um, the best of my knowledge, we still have the First Amendment right. I'm thinking uh, freedom of speech, correct? She said, yes, we still have freedom of speech. I said, okay, so what is the problem? And she said, well, the threats that he was making were terrorist in nature. And I said, okay. All right, well, um, I will go ahead over to county, you know, the county police department and see if I can't figure out things there. So she wouldn't give me any more information. I went over there, and after about, you know, 15, 20 minutes of the runaround, I was told a supervisor would come out. And um, a supervisor did not come out, but two police officers walked in from out of the uh, street there, walked in, and, and they introduced themselves to me. And I said, oh, do you, do you know what's going on? And they, we have this on uh, um, video, by the way. Um, all of this is on video. Uh, we don't have Brandon being um, confronted by the FBI, but we have him taken away in handcuffs and put in the backseat of a car because the other son arrived and got that on videotape. Okay, I only, have, I only have a little over yeah. a minute. I only have a little sure. over a minute, so I, I want to get to, is he being charged with any form of terrorist act or um, any, you know, any, anything related to why the FBI Secret Service were originally at the house, or is he only being charged with the resistance? Yeah, well, here's the deal. He never resisted arrest. He never assaulted a police I, officer. I, he was handcuffed and carried that. away. Yeah. Um, he does not know. I just hung up with him, okay. and he has no idea why he's being held. He was told that he would see a judge on Monday. That was the last thing that was told to him. He has no idea why he's there. Nurses are asking questions. They're evaluating him, and that's where we stand. Wow. Okay, so, so to sum up, uh, your son was arrested at 7 p.m. yesterday. Secret Service FBI was present at the arrest, which means it was obviously for the reason they were there was his expressed discontent with the government and his Facebook posts. They, they arrest him initially with no report of the arrest, and they take him to a mental hospital at John Randolph Hospital. Then today right. you hear from your son, and he is he's okay, but he's definitely being... Um, held accountable for the quote-unquote resistance, and we're not sure yet if he's going to be charged with any terrorism that initially brought the law enforcement to the home in the first place, correct? Right. That is correct. And he was not arrested, sir. I was told he was by the FBI, but he was not arrested or charged of any crime. Well, well currently they they're, they're holding him at... Yeah, but he was not arrested well, if, from what if, I'm told. Well, if he's not been arrested for anything, then he has no reason to go in front of the judge on Monday. So they obviously are looking for a way to keep him, which means that would give cause to the arrest for the quote-unquote resisting. Um, so at, at, at some point, I would assume at this point, they even if it's fictitious, they've charged him with something. Right, but he's not been told what he's been charged of. He's not been read his rights either. Unreal. Absolutely unreal. See, folks, this is what happens in America when you, when you yeah. allow this to happen. This is absolutely insane. How many of us would be guilty? To be honest with you, when I heard this, I thought, oh, my goodness, I better get ready because they're probably going to come in my door next because here I am talking to all of you about how the government is corrupt, and I know millions of you feel that way. You know, in Russia, they just had a case where their court upheld you can't dis be a dissident against the government without facing three years in, in prison. How many of us now fall under that category and we're too 
numbed down, we're too naive, we're too neutered to even realize that we could be subjugated to a to a soft definition of terrorism. Anything from being a potential terrorist because you pay with cash at a coffee shop, you're sweating in a nightclub, you have a Ron Paul bumper sticker, you carry the Constitution. Bottom line is, if they want to define you as a terrorist, guess what, Bubba? You're a terrorist, and that's the country you live in if you don't stand up and do something to retain the freedom that we are losing at an alarming rate. All right, we'll be, well, actually, we won't be back. That's the end of the hour today, but I'll be back tomorrow. So today, tomorrow, and as always, my friends, may your path lead to heaven, and may freedom follow in your footsteps.